Oh my God, it looks like a freaking marshmallow. <laughs> Whew, it's bright out. Hey all you people, what is going on? Today we have a very special video for you because we're going to be <clears throat> looking at a couple budget straight pipes options for the GTI. Not a lot of people have the money to go very high quality, expensive exhaust brands. So we're gonna show you how to do it affordably and very, very high quality. Um, what is this? Is this bird poop on my... Come on. Come on. We're gonna do it two different ways. One, with PVC pipe, and two, with your typical household aluminum or tin cans that you can find in the recycling bin. Both are gonna look great, both are gonna sound great, and hopefully this gives you guys some ideas for mods in the future. On that note, let me show you my design, and then we'll get underneath the car and start working. So here is uh, my design. So right now I have the GTI here drawn in, uh, in purple ink. It's a side dump exhaust coming out here held on by a coat hanger. This is the underneath view here. So we have the Unitronic downpipe uh, that connects to the PVC pipe that I'm gonna cut to fit. And then a 90 degree elbow, then a little bit of PVC to connect the elbow to a 45 degree angle, which is gonna give us that nice dump out the side. A lot of you know that I went to school for math. So if you take the drag coefficient, uh, and divide it by the PVC straight pipe flow increase and divide it by a distance by divided by time. And then you substitute for sign and you have to solve for E. Um, and eventually what that comes down to, Jason Fenske, is uh, zero to 60 in two seconds, uh, you know, give or take. It's just my estimate. So let's see if that is the case. Let's put it to the test, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, everyone's in the parking lot because of coronavirus and we're not. Not so handy car guy and gal. Just keep trucking on. Yes. See, check it out. Yes, definitely plumbing. We might be able to find a cheap exhaust tip somewhere around here. Yeah, we're looking for a three inch hook right up to the down pipe. I've got a five foot pipe, PVC pipe, three inch in diameter. We got the pipe. <laughs> we're gonna see if this big pipe fits in my trunk. Hold on, watch this, ready? Oh my God. Aha, ha ha ha. Here you go. You'll get some pocket in the driver's seat. Nice, my favorite. Forget those expensive fancy lifts. Just gotta do a little shimmy. Okay. We're gonna take off this clamp here that holds the downpipe onto the midpipe. First things first, let's undo these O2 sensors right here. So when we get the midpipe off, it's not gonna, you know, damage these wires here. Stay right here. The worst thing is when you come down here, you forget the actual tools that you need. So one thing I should mention is that I have an aftermarket downpipe on this car from Unitronic, and we're gonna keep the downpipe on here because that's just the easiest way to do it. But for a true straight pipe, you'd want to remove the downpipe or get some sort of aftermarket because in the factory exhaust system, there's actually two catalytic converters, one on the midpipe and then one on the downpipe. Freaking do it. <laughs> these are not budging. I need to let these soak for a bit and some WD forty. Okay, well, a little scooch scooch. My plan is to have the PVC run from the downpipe outlet right here, come to this brace. It's obviously gonna work out great. Uh, so what we gotta do now is measure the length of our first 22 inches. So we want 22 inches. About as good as it's gonna get right there. Yeah, perfect. I don't wanna scratch the PVC, I probably shouldn't have thrown it. Perfect, like that. We don't want no mid pipe leaks, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make a four inch little connector piece 
Yeah, four, uh, three, you know what, we're gonna do three and a half inches. Sweet. Let's see if this works. Yeah, okay. 90 degree to a three and a half inch little connector to a 45 degree. Perfect. So you find something to hang it on. Wow, I see no problem with this. That's beautiful, honestly. It's probably my finest work. While I'm down here, I'm just gonna change the oil and then we're gonna go see how it drives. Putting the final touches on the exhaust, um, I was gonna use scotch tape because it was actually invented uh, by the military to seal up their ammunition cases. It's actually waterproof, but all we have is this stupid duct tape. And of course, we wanna be as safe as possible, so we're gonna zip tie the tubes to the bottom of the car. I'm gonna cover the O2 sensors in plastic bags and wrap them up in elastic bands. Okay, I think we're about ready to try this thing out. Best case scenario, we're gonna sling to 88 miles an hour, then rip back in time to uh, before coronavirus was a thing. Worst case scenario, the car blows up or just the PVC melts and falls out the bottom. So let's give it a go. This is a real performance car now. I don't even... hurts your ears and hurts everything in your body because it's vibrating everything. <laughs> that smells now. Holy crap, it smells like burning plastic. <laughs> oh no. We're probably like, why is she just holding up a phone filming? Sounds like 
a car trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but he's not doing too well. Here we go. What are you doing? I think we're dragging. Oh no! She's looking at us. We're dragging something. Oh jeez. Uh, oh my god. Oh, the front of the PVC is completely burnt. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it was fun while it lasted. That is so funny. It's actually really hard to grab, so I might just drive with it hanging for now. Okay. I apologize to everyone in this neighborhood. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Oh. Looks like a lawn mower. Everyone hates us. Of course, it's a beautiful day, so everyone's outside. <laughs> they were looking at us so concerned. Is it gonna like catch on fire? All right, let's just try one more time right here. Yeah, might not be a bad idea to give it a whirl. I now know why nobody uses PVC pipe as an exhaust. Did they used to? Oh my god. No, that is not good. Mom, my zip ties are like really good. Ha <laughs> ha! My zip ties are just too damn good. <sighs> I just smashed it. Look, okay, look at this. Oh my god, it looks like a freaking marshmallow. That's the kind and of marshmallow I like. This is the side that was scraping on the street. Holy it's crap, it's gone. Paper thin now. Oh god, this is probably cancerous. Okay, so I was going to do a tin can comparison between the PVC pipe and the tin cans, um, but the sun is going down and that's gonna be another video. Um, if you guys have any other ideas that might work uh, as far as straight piping goes, please let me know. But I'm not talking about metal pipes, I'm talking about household items. Good ideas, bad ideas are welcome as well. Let's get the real exhaust back on. <laughs> well, this just happened. No, oh, I'm totally stuck under there too. All right, well, you know, I'm, I, I'll just I'll just leave the car here. The bird poop makes a great accent. If you like what you saw, please subscribe because we're going to be doing more of these. And on that note, take care now. Bye bye then. We have a lot of cars in here.